Hello and welcome to another video. Yesterday was a really wet and horrible day and today we have got sunshine. So we are out in the garden. You can hear the birds up in this tree. So we're out in the garden. Uh, we're doing some jobs which we probably should have done before Christmas. A bit of clearing and a bit of sorting in our back garden. Um, and I'm hoping to share with you our plans for our allotment area this year and the things that we're going to grow. And maybe soon we can start sowing some seeds. So our first job, which I think I mentioned in a video ages ago, we had loads of cosmos here. This was it. And it flowered really late into the autumn. Um, and we just, we never got around to clearing it. So today is the day it's gonna be cleared. Uh, we will check for hedgehogs before we mow, but I don't think we get many hedgehogs because we've got quite a lot of fencing. Um, so we're going to clear it, maybe give it a little bit of a mow. This was our wild flower patch last year. And hopefully this year we will do another wild flower patch to help our bees. So we've got lots of our raised beds here for our allotment area. So we need to get clearing still got some cabbages growing so we can plan what we're going to grow this year George are you helping doing some digging gladioli that was there and we've got some daffodil bulbs now I think because it's been so mild I mean it's cold now but it was mild just before Christmas the daffs have actually started to come up it's quite early for them so I'll be interested to see what happens to them and whether they continue to grow or whether they'll stop now because it's gone a bit colder so we'll keep an eye on them and all these leaves are now on this bed They've been collected in between where the gladioli were, so I'm going to... George, don't step on all the daffodils. So I'm going to collect up all these leaves now and put them in the bag that we're collecting our leaves in, ready for leaf mould. We've also got loads of leaves here by a big pile of stones, which is for another project that we have in mind. Um, so I'm gonna collect all of these leaves too. There's loads in this bed, but I'm, I'll see how many I can collect. And they can go in the bag for leaf mold too. Free mulching. This part of our garden looks a lot clearer now, ready to start thinking about what we're going to grow this year, what cut flowers we want to grow and what vegetables we want to grow and where. And I'm hoping to share that with you. I will show you our plans for what we're going to plant in all these beds. So I've come inside from the cold to start thinking about what we're going to grow this year. And I love this part when you can start thinking about all the different vegetables that you're going to grow. I've got out all of our seeds from last year so that we can use those seeds up and then we can start thinking about what other seeds we might want to buy and what different vegetables to grow. I think it's always really fun to try and grow something new each year um, and just to see if it works out. So I found our seed tin box 
and I've separated all our old seeds into flowers and vegetables. So here are all the leftover seeds that we've got for vegetables. So I will use this to guide me as to what we're going to plant. And of course we'll buy some more. We'll get some more things if you want to try other things. So we definitely want beans and peas. I'm going to try some broccoli this year. Didn't do it last year. Beetroot we always tend to do to pickle. We always have courgette and squashes worked really well last year. We tried the cabbage this year, which I think we'll do again. And we've got some lettuce and some carrots and some leeks and spring onions. So I think um, we'll plant all, we'll, so I think we'll sow all those. Um, we'll start off with that on the plan and then see what else we want. And then we'll get the seeds that we need. So let's have a look at the plan of our garden or our vegetable allotment area. Um, and then we'll see what we can put in. So these are the outline of our beds that we have. We've got our compost heap that will obviously stay. This bed will stay. This is called our booze bed. And it's called a booze bed because we have got rhubarb and black currants growing in it. Are you drawing the gruffalo, George? You seem to have pen on your face. Because we grow rhubarb and black currants in here, but we don't use them really for eating because we don't really like rhubarb. Um, but we use them for sort of rhubarb gin and blackcurrant gin and things like that. So that's called our booze bed. In these beds we had some onions. So I think I'll have broccoli in here and some squash in this one. So what I've learned with squash is that you don't actually need that much room for the actual plant. You just need room for it to then trail. So we've got an area which would be about here that was our wild flower patch. That, that can trail into so i think we'll plant them here but they can trail this way or we'll try and guide them to trail this way so they don't impact on the rest of the beds the cut flower bed we've got a little pond here a teeny weeny belfast sink pond here and then we've got some daffodils here and we took the gladiol up We've got some tulips somewhere in here, but we're not sure where. I think they're along this bit here. They're definitely not up here because we sowed some peas later in the season last year. So I think they're sort of about here. So there'll be some tulips in there. So we've got room for some other cut flowers in this bed. So we'll have to think about what we're gonna plant in there. We normally have cosmos somewhere. So that's that. At the moment, we've still got some red cabbage here and some Savoy cabbage here. So they might go on a little bit longer. Oh, we've still got some beetroot. So I think we'll think about these two beds. Now this bed had sweet corn in before. And this one had peas in. So brassicas are supposed to follow peas, but I don't think I need that much broccoli. And I don't really, um, don't really want anything else. I'm gonna to have to have a think. Um, I am going to trial growing tomatoes outside this year. Now, whether I do that in pots or whether I do that straight into the bed, I'm not sure yet. So maybe tomatoes. I did like the sweet corn and I think I might grow a few more. So I might do it in this bed just so they're not in the same bed again for the sake of diseases and things. So maybe we'll have some sweet corn here. We have to have room for peas. We love peas, the children eat peas. So we will have to have room for some peas in here. And I think once the cabbage has gone from here, we'll probably do um, the runner beans and the French beans. So we'll call this a bean bed. We'll do the beans in there. I want to do potatoes this year, but again, I think I'm going to do those in bags. So they won't need any bed space. 
So this is a start to um, our plan. This might change. Um, I might move things around. I might take things out. I will probably grow some things in pots as well. But it's just a start so that we can, you know, have in the back of our minds what we're going to do so we can start planning. Um, so I think we'll go grow some broccoli. Probably we've got some purple sprouting broccoli. So I'll probably grow some of that. Um, I have done that before. But we always tend to get there too late. It always goes to seed before we pick it. So I've got to keep my eye on it this year. So I think we'll grow some purple sprouting broccoli. I've got some lettuce here, but I might put the lettuce in pots near the house. I haven't quite decided yet, but I'll leave that for that just in case. Um, squash, the squashes did really, really well this year. Um, I made loads of lovely squash soups and squash risottos and roasted squash. In fact, I've still got some roasted squash in the freezer. So we'll definitely grow squash. Courgette's always a good favourite. The kids do like it. Um, there's lots of recipes that you can use with courgette and they just grow so easily, um, often too easily. You end up with millions of them, but um, we'll grow them. In fact, this year we tried a new variety. We tried a yellow courgette and it didn't do very well. So we'll go back to our normal one, um, this one. And uh, that's the cut flower bed, although we do sometimes put a few things in there, maybe a row of peas or something. Um, the sweet corn, I did sweet corn for the first time this year. I did it in this bed and we didn't have loads, but we managed to get a few and they tasted amazing. They were really, really good. I was really surprised. I was really surprised how well they turned out. So I'd like to have another go at those. Uh, peas, we must have, we always have peas. Um, I love spring onions and leeks, buttered leeks. Oh, I love them. So have them. Beans, all the climbing beans, French beans will grow there. Beetroot, we like to pickle, so we'll grow some there. And I've got some carrots I'm going to put in. Um, so I think I might have to add some sand to that part of the bed and dig it through. But that's not a problem. We can do that. So that's the start of our plan. As I said, it might change, but it's a good starting point. So now that I've got a rough plan, when I'm outside, I can start sort of visualising what's going to go where and I can prep my beds properly. Um, think about where needs extra sand or manure or whatever um, to make them suit the vegetables that are going to go in there. Um, I can start thinking about cleaning some of the pots that I might use for the tomatoes and also potatoes. I'm going to try and grow some potatoes in bags this year so they don't take up too much a bed space. So um, now we've got a few months before we start sowing seeds where we can prep everything. There's lots to do in the garden. There's lots to clear up from the winter. Um, and that's not even the flower beds. You know, we've got the flower beds to do and some fencing to do. So um, lots to do. So let me know what plans you have for your vegetable gardens. What do you plan to grow this year? Are you going to try a new vegetable? If you've got any advice or any suggestions of new vegetables, then let me know and um, I'll see if I can start growing it. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and I will see you on Wednesday. Um, where I will show you a bit more of our front garden. We have made some progress this weekend with our wall. So um, check out that on Wednesday, see what we have been up to. See you soon.